what is up everybody it's your dude 7 co 7 gtv thanks for tuning in for another great episode hopefully you guys are doing all right man i figured that i would do a rendering video in 4k uh with sony vegas pro 17 i know a lot of people are always curious as to you know what is the best way simplest way to get you guys some 4k uh rendering um so i'm actually working on a video right now so i figure out why not just go ahead and just show you guys uh so to speak so i am using a 1660 super uh gtx uh graphics card uh, my computer is an i5 9400 intel uh it's not bad it definitely does me justice for live streaming with uh with camera with a canon m200 um and so on and so on and in the the of course the rendering process for the video just wanted to kind of throw that out there so anyway so again this is this is rendering this is not video editing so i went ahead and just finished my editing for this review on cuban links uh this bracer that i had just gotten so let me play it real so quick I finally so, found a and uh let me turn it down real so quick so i finally but, found a company on amazon that actually the cape so it's ready to go so just to kind of show you guys what i'm doing i've already got pretty much my edits where i want them um and you guys can see the edits where they're at and of course um uh, my backtrack per se so uh, at the very top, you can either hit where it says render as, which is the top left corner where you see my cursor, or you can go to file uh, and then hit uh, render as as well. It doesn't really matter which way you want to go about it. So let me go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to make this real easy. You guys can literally just copy and paste uh, what I have and you guys will be pretty much good to go. So um, what I would suggest, you get all these formats right here. Go into Magix AVC AAC MP4, right? So you should have that one right there. Then you'll have all these options that should be popping up right here. If you guys don't already have a template already ready to go and you're starting completely from scratch, when you go into Magix AVC AAC MP4, depending on what your graphics card is, if it's an AMD or if it's an NVIDIA, um, you would want to choose the right one, right? So I would say this. Now, I'm going to make this point. Anytime you have a 10... 80 by 60 frames crisp clear camera whatever the case you're doing always render it in 4k that's how you're going to be able to get the best quality onto youtube so find the one that you want up here which is the internet u ultra high definition uh in this case i want to do um nvidia uh nvec uh so for the fact that i had switched my graphics card out to 2160p uh 50 frames per second i'm sorry uh the 59.94 frames per second right here uh this is the one that i would would be using now that i have a nvidia graphics card now if you guys had an amd graphics card all you would do is the same prefence right here and then select whichever gives you in parentheses your a amd vice uh, uh vce uh option if you will you would have intel qs uh v nvidia or if you guys have again an uh uh, an amd would have amd vice as an option if you guys had it uh, but in this case we're going to use for nvidia so internet uhd 2160 59.94 point frames customize the template let it pop up right here this is really really easy you guys you guys don't have to do anything just keep keep the frame size the same that's going to get into that 4k profile make sure it's at high right now here's the interesting thing the variable bit rate this is where i kind of change it a little bit as well so the max bit rate on videos that i normally have is usually about 60 about 60,000 approximately right there uh, uh bytes per second if you will what i usually find is always the best is about a hundred thousand so if your computer can handle it and my computer is not ex going crazy crazy but if your can, computer can handle it do some testing stay between 80 or 100 000 as a maximum um and then your average take it up to at least i would say at least 60 000 or 60 uh million if you will bits per second uh and code mode is going to be nvidia because this is my option for my graphics card so i don't need to do anything on there preset is going to be the same rc mode uh we're going to keep that as a vbr uh for variable bit rate this is going to be a variable anytime that i've done a, con a consistent bit rate it kind of it doesn't look right so just fyi i'll save you the trouble yeah uh, keep it on variable bit rate audio uh keep it at forty-eight thousand. um 
hertz uh bit rates 192 is actually pretty good you really don't uh, need to do anything further than that if you got good audio recording like i'm doing now um if you don't then you could take it up to at least uh maybe uh 224 um system wise um don't change anything on here as well let it whatever it has right now just keep it on there project use project settings you want best under video rendering quality best and that is it once you come back to video go ahead and rechange this one so i'm gonna do nvidia uh nvidia uh 60 fps uh 4k uh, i'm gonna hit save i'm gonna hit okay it's automatically gonna pop up down here i want to go ahead and highlight these two actually i want to highlight the 4k because i no longer have that amd graphics card so now i have my preset made again you guys magic's av aac mp4 then choose one of the internet ultra high definition 2160p etc uh preferably do the 59p and then find the one that has your graphics card other than that um go ahead and we'll just do a quick little test and we'll just do cuban link review and hit render and it's going to start rendering the, the, the here's the whole thing why this is rendering i just want to give you guys a heads up this anytime you're rendering in, in 4k it's it's going to take a while for your computer even if you guys have an extremely fast you know i9 intel whatever the case might be and you got like a beast computer you're rendering in 4k you know so you're gonna get high quality render and then of course you're doing that on purpose um that way you can upload to youtube so uh a three four five minute video should be at least about 10 to 12 minutes approximately maybe about 10 15 minutes uh depending on the video size itself uh but again this video right here is almost about four minutes uh i think it's like 359 or something like that almost four minutes exactly and we're looking about at 10 minutes uh but i take about around eight eight and a half minutes for rendering time frame so just wanted to throw that out there you guys so don't trip out if all of a sudden your render is like 45 minutes or an hour um you know it might be the graphics card you might get need a, to get a better graphics card if you will and let it take its course but as you guys can see four minute and 4k uh render it's coming out really really nice so i'll be back in a second once the video is done that way you guys can actually see it uh when it's been rendered in 4k all right you guys so the render is complete on this and i want to show you the high quality that we're getting off of this one so check this out what is up everybody it's your dude seven seal seven g tv thanks for tuning in for another great episode you guys all right don't mind uh the audio and by the way this is uh the screen captures on a 4k 32 inch tv um just that kind of fyi man but you guys can see it man it, it came out pretty pretty darn good um so let me show you guys also i want you guys to see this uh when you go to the properties of this and you go to details so and then one thing i just wanted to show you also is in the details it rendered at 3840 2160 at 59. now you're safe to go ahead and upload this to youtube and get it in its highest quality form um and your renders there you guys have it i'm you do 7 co 7 gtv just um a little bit thorough little detailed uh on how to get 4k resolutions uh specifically for youtube uploading as well all right man take care god bless and jesus loves you peace love and salute